Welcome. This is Social Dissonance. Um, we would like to ask you to stay here for the whole hour, if that's possible. And we would like to inform you that uh, this performance is being recorded and streamed live on Periscope. So anyone who has a problem with that may go now. Or anyone who can think you can make for the whole hour can also can go now. Uh, if you want to leave for at some point before 8 o'clock, uh, you have to give uh, uh, the reason and some feedback on how this is going so people can improve. Um, after that, all you have to know is that you have the score in your hands and you have to interpret it. Could someone be kind enough to explain to the two people who came what we're doing here?
Give us uh, feedback, feedback uh, or a reason. Reason? Um, I'm not sure about being a performer mm -hmm. myself. Yes. So, yeah, I came here to with expecting to see something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there are two things. Thank you very much. Concept questions and movements as a way to explore the dissonance under the the yeah, yeah? exists problem. between it. Yeah, I can repeat what is here. But, um, yeah. mm -hmm. Could I ask you to speak a little louder, please? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure everybody hears what you're saying. Okay. And um, so we are individually narcissistic <laughs> because that is what capitalism promotes that we work and live for ourselves, that we make money, that we find a job, that we, you know, and, uh, but there's, um, there's also the social capacity, right? the social capacity to help each other. I had, uh, I had, I lived in a hostel and the guy from Australia said there is this monastery of love, mm -hmm. that is what makes us human, this is what connects us and everything, all on the top is, is the, you know, is the mask or what family and society and capitalistic society uh, is demanding of us. We are schooled and schooled also just to become capitalists, just to find a job, and, you know, your parents are pressing us to find a job and, you know, make money. So we, we help the capitalistic society to continue. But as we've seen, uh, uh, you know, in these last few years, very clearly that this is going down the drain. You know, this energy oil is going down, wars everywhere, and so we are not connecting. What do you mean the last few years? Well, the last decades in the Syria war. Uh, there were there are How about wars before? every year. Huh? How about before? And before, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 But because of our uh, instruments, our machines, we are constantly doing everything and doing everything. That's why we need to close. What exactly means dissonance? I just know it from the musical context. So it's kind of made to speak. There is also cognitive dissonance. Like it's something which is not working. You want to believe something and you do something else. It's like. The opposite of um, I was gonna say you know when you make a sound and then you know when there's the sound and it makes an object vibrate? Yeah. What's that called again? Dissonance. Huh? Dissonance, dissonance. Exactly. It's, it's the opposite of that. Really? <laughs> harmony. Sorry? Like harmony. The opposite of harmony. You can say it's the opposite of harmony, yeah. That's how you can understand it as well. So the capitalist society, as I understand it from this text and from my experience, it helps to make dissonance all the time because we are not working together, we are only working for ourselves. This is the narcissistic, the individual narcissism, which is being promoted all the time and in television and everywhere and everything is, um, is um, helping to keep this structure you know, alive. How can the world play in our service? How can the world play in our service? Who 
are you? Well, who are you? I don't know if we're here. How we could avoid playing ourselves. This is what happens the most and we have to be open. Explore this distance. How can we explore this distance? If we say our opinions. Huh? Mm -hmm. If we all say our opinions. We have to say something. We show all our individualness. <laughs> <laughs> <Please pass in. laughs> I think a good question is first to ask do we all agree with this? Base assumption? Mm. Which assumption? Well, the, um, that capitalism promotes individual narcissism and that there's a dissonance between that and our social capacity. Right? That's, what, that's yeah. what the base assumption is, if I'm understanding this correctly. I think we were exploring this more spatially uh, when we were sitting facing that direction and having permission. Now, since we are organizing a circle, spatially, we, we are not able to explore um, kind of this kind of spatial. So, being informed when we are when we are here, informed by the conventions or informed by our opinion, probably it's um, it's a weird project. And I think it's making a, a, a system of good and bad, like idea, concept of being we, being social, and the uh, worst case scenario of being egoist, being um, narcissist, being capitalist. So I think this is not opening up something in between. Uh, this is what I don't like. Yeah. Neither I say I like mm -hmm. capitalism, but I don't like this uh, black and white thinking of this mm -hmm. theory. Mm -hmm. Well, a certain amount of capitalism helps us to have to do things we normally would be too lazy for, or you know, it doesn't bring enough reward. But if we uh, just a little bit, not too much, too much capitalism, this creates this. Huge um, dissonance, you know, between very rich and very poor. But the but they live in rich and then they live in poor. They would be your thing. Like what you say, I am saying you have a problem with very rich and very poor. But a little rich and a little poor is fine for you. Well, that everyone at least is, uh, you know, have food, has food. That everyone has food. That everyone has a, a roof on the top and a bed to sleep in, 
that's that's the basics. Yes, but if you were the one who had the basics, maybe they wouldn't be so happy about it. It's a matter of the mind. I mean, the, the poor are in general more happy than the very rich. Are you says so who? rich? Says the rich. <laughs> <laughs> and says the white rich guy. <laughs> in Athens, we are all rich. So we're meant to get them to work on the physically handicapped people. In documentary? In uh, documentary and the products. Oh. So. Where are you from? <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> 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 Is it always a matter of comparison? Exactly, yeah. it's, so. it's about, it's about uh, one subjective experience, but it's yeah. also really a relative thing. So if we talk, you just talked about the roof over your head and food, and you're quite sure that in your life you've always had more than that. True. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not only thinking of me, I'm thinking of the world population. But this is back to this question, how can you get rid of yourself as the sure. instrument, as the, you know, how can you play further than yourself? I think it's difficult when you, in reality, my reality, have a subjective perspective. But now, for me, it's not clear that you talk about as if you're able to see the double, double objective I have. You're asking me? Yeah. You're asking Periscope. Yeah, uh, Periscope, yeah. You can do what you think it's the proper thing to do. Interpret it. Okay. Can we check the laptop? Can the interpretation be only talking? I 
Yeah. If, if you feel that's the way to go. Yeah. I think this is the red one you mentioned. The other one. <laughs> Why? Find a meaning. Why? Why? Uh, because it says about playing without injury, and then it's playing with others, and make, make an individual instrument. And kill it. I mean, it's up to us. We could stay on like this meta level, or we could say like we try to make a real score happen. Um, like a real play, it really depends on what we want to do. We don't have to do anything that's out of the village. Structures exist also inside the yes. circles that they try to avoid them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the summary. <laughs> but did you mention some specific spaces? Uh, mine is actually in a good suburb, in good suburb, but uh, in more uh, really fine. like uh, Yevalskivi, which is near the Mount of Mythos. Yeah, I know. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, but I think that also exists uh, in other places too. But it, which is a bit ironic. Uh, but for me, it's not uh, that bad because there, there are people for seven or eight years there that feel kind of uh, left out from stuff, even though it's you know, the motto again, it's social, social solidarity. That's maybe an example of social examples. Well, I think that's the right thing to call this. It's the right to work on the system, but you also have to work on yourself. I mean, I mean capitalism doesn't just come. It comes because we are egoistic already before the capitalism. And then it rises and it goes more. It's like a vicious circle. And if you want to break capitalism, you don't break egoism at the same time. You know, it's we don't only have to talk about the Western countries, but I think you can talk about India, where there are people who overcome their, their ego and they live in complete peace, even in a capitalistic way. I mean, that's a, and the world is capitalistic, but these people live in peace. Like, you have so many examples for that. It's not, I think it's not only about working on the society, but you have to start with yourself and you start too. I don't, I don't want to say that you have to be an individual, but you can do it in a group, but you have to work on yourself naturally. That's what I try to say. And even if you try to found like a, a nice uh, left artist or whatever movement, in there, like in this, in this circle now, is what I see. We are still thinking about like how we thought, the left understanding of philosophy. Have to let go and things will be more happy. When did you choose India? What examples do you have about India in specific? Uh, what do you mean, like? Uh, I don't know. I think a good example for that is the yoga, which uh, actually means discipline <coughs> in a way to work on your on yourself on your way. It's a disciplined way. Uh, you, to do your duty as a human being. That is what yoga means. And nowadays, I don't know. But 
what is your duty? What is your duty? You have, you have to define it yourself. You have to define it yourself. I mean, you can define it in so many ways. You can be, your duty is to be an honest person, to be caring for others, to, to clean what you make dirty, whatever, you know, just. I mean, you can define it in, in so many different ways. You, I don't know why you can decide religious or social or whatever ways to define duty, but in the end, your duty is what you define it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a good way to start. I mean, we are many people, maybe we should do some exercises, do some breathing and do some yoga. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> seeing how we are generally instrumentalized. Yeah. It's really interesting to think of your voices as instruments yeah. when you're talking with one another, but when I'm talking with you now as well. I kind of feel like this fits like what we're, what we're doing kind of fits the performance. Maybe. With the last practice, it's kind of different if we start with the environment. really a question of being wise if you're an elder. It's just that you have traveled the world to a certain extent and understood that there's actually almost no difference in between people. It doesn't matter if you live in a socialist environment when you travel to Russia or you, you talked about India, which is a wonderful country but has a lot of disagreements within the society. And I'm not going to waste on the over there. So people are starving and dying on the roads and other driving very modern new cars and it's a very interesting country. but. Wherever you go, you feel, doesn't matter if you're elder or young people, they all want to be happy, they want to be, to a certain degree, you know, having enough food and things like that. And suddenly in your life, there's a situation, what serve the reasons for that? Your job, or you start to build a house, have a bigger car, and things like that. So I think there's a disintegration of your personality. But isn't that the normal way? Isn't that? 
Isn't that the normal way human beings start to behave? Well, that's the capitalistic way. That's, if you go back tens of thousands of years, we have the tribe. Yeah, but that, that was always also someone to lead more or less in the elderly. Sorry, I was I have a good question. Where should we draw towards our eyes, which is also for our voice? And second is, um, could any one of you please tell what is the collective subject? I mean, do you have an image in your mind now of a collective subject? Something that can be a gesture, a voice, a yes. sound? A puzzle, maybe. Yeah. A what? A puzzle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you don't touch the screen, so you shouldn't then talk. Okay. How do you 
feeling? I'm feeling quite well, thank you. But what are they trying to do? I don't understand. Like, um, they try with body performance to do what? Or what, what was the expression? Was it part of documenta or what's the point? Why? If you wanted to leave before the thing ends, you have to say your opinion about it. Like how you feel about what happened here. That's interesting. That's my English is like so bad, I cannot. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. We like it though. Yeah. yeah. You feel the same? You like it? Mm -hmm. I love this. For me, it's a great experience mm -hmm. to see so young, most young people to speak about things who are really um, existential. So, mm -hmm. my English is terrible. Okay. okay. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. So the room is heating up because of our presence in the room. So, and then you were talking about this um, this performance that you saw, where they were trying to join up with the architecture. And then I thought, huh, if we do this now, it's as if we pretended that our aim for being here or something is to be the architecture. But I don't know this building. I don't want to be this building. I think so. <laughs> uh, I mean, what you said, that I don't think that you have to overcome your body to uh, make yourself free of your ego. Like, ego is always like really bad connotated in our imagination or I don't know, you know, presence. And I think it doesn't have to be such a bad thing, rather put it into something like awareness, self-awareness. So it's nicer to reach something like self-awareness than playing the ego game. So self-awareness means being aware of everything, of the body, of the space, of the people you talk to, respect everybody the same as you want to be respected, blah blah. I think it's kind of a yoga philosophy kind of too. Yeah, and
sign or to find. Maybe there are no, no, no country is perfect, but uh, there is a certain degree of difference in how they approach things, like uh, how they, the, the, the person, the individual is not so large and the community is something more important. But I like this idea that going to going to least and for ideas about uh, disrupting social dissonance or something. If we do something inappropriate? Inappropriate? Inappropriate. Something that we wouldn't have done in a space like that. Something that would be something like out of the room completely. Maybe just uh, like what? Actually. I don't know. We can try. Just do it. Just okay. follow it. It's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have two people looking at them. Um, three. A three, so, okay. Because it's maybe more than two people. Maybe we could uh, do like a no. <laughs> maybe we could do that to make an installation from leaflets. <laughs> what? An installation from leaflets. <laughs> and here we have the visual artist talking. <laughs> oh, he. <laughs> Αυτό δεν κάνει γάμματα. Περίμενε, 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 περίμενε. Now we have zero. Now we have none. We can do whatever. <laughs> There's not much time left. Yeah. We should actually bring our bodies so. somehow. Yeah. But it's not necessary I, to do something provocative. We can do something. I mean, I don't know. I would just suggest bodies. I mean, instead of sitting, I go with you. Yeah. Like a ritual. Let's do a ritual. Who can lead a ritual? Cozy what? I mean, maybe everybody can do a body movement until, and maybe in the end we will find a body movement together. Okay. Like, yeah. Just. I think not enough. No, it's a suggestion. I mean, we can do. We can. It's a suggestion. We can do different body movements, and maybe we find one together. Maybe not. Would you think you are?
some people, one of the kids bringing us, it gets a lot of noise and chaos, come back to the center immediately. It's for the World Wide Web. Have some nice thoughts. I think today it was totally weird because we did something that we... They don't we... hear you. It doesn't matter. I do it for the camera. Okay, confession time. Confession. Con oh, I have a confession. Um, today we entered with the audience, and that's why there was not so much tension in the room. Uh, but people were more engaged because there was no separation between the performers and the audience and that helped a lot. They start talking immediately from the minute five, which was amazing to see <laughs> uh, because other t some other days were struggling. Um, <clears throat> You will see soon. You will figure it out. 
Um, but I think we lost uh, the tension and it's not about the tension itself, but um, we, there was this kind of uh, playful mood and that's not really the tool to create uh, these events in here. Uh, but uh, I think it was, uh, it was really useful for us to experience that because normally we have um, much more power and sometimes it, sometimes it's so obvious that it's really distracting for the audience and for the energy of the room. So, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I believe too that we lost some of the tension that uh, could be uh, could be created in here. But on the other hand, as far as the score is concerned and the conversation, I feel that people totally uh, tried to understand and to say their opinions and to share it with the whole room. And from this aspect, from the aspect of you know thinking out loud about the score, uh, today is one of the most successful concerts i think on this from this aspect but i think we should have broken it at some point and when things got a little bit more personal like when we asked this man about something more personal there was the tension but then some other people got it very general again and we lost the tension again but i think yeah if we did some more personal questions and stuff like that, or if we have broken the, the situation, uh, you know, like 20, a quarter ago or 20 minutes, um, this would be a very interesting day. And many interesting things, I heard many interesting things. For example? I think we were very, we discussed more than any other time about the score, and I'm not sure if um, well, what we did mostly was talk about the score, talk about instrumentalization and capitalism and I think nobody really tried to implement this in order for us to explore how it works. It was very obvious from the beginning that some people uh, were more active in the conversation, they felt more comfortable with having the attention drawn to their person and this made very clear like a sort of hierarchy inside the circle that is a shape that um, shows some kind of collective I think as long as we have uh, language and this structure of the, of the, of the concert is, uh, is based on language we we always tend to have power structures, as, as the one that I implied right now, by interrupting someone else while talking. And uh, these power structures, we cannot negate that they exist. For example, someone who is more talkative and has uh, more abilities to speak in public, uh, it, gets, it gets the atmosphere, it gets the people. It, uh, um, yeah, and uh, plus uh, analytical thinking to, to this concert, I don't think it's uh, a real good fit, actually, and uh, it's more interesting to to, to play with Igolos by from the start instead of talking about it and then having exactly the same uh, problem that okay, this discrepancy between people that they can talk, people that they cannot talk, Can people get, get to, it, people that don't get it. We're trying to use alienation in a productive way. Uh, alienation. alienation in a productive way. I think actually the, the 
experience here was quite real because of the interaction that we had, which seemed honest. And as soon as some people showed that they were engaged in the project previously already, like for us, um, I felt like the whole thing was breaking down and it left the productivity of the whole thing completely. Good that you do this at the end.